Hello everyone, welcome back to Bloons. Um, and I'm doing uh, something I've already done. Um, fortunate Bloon Rounds, Boomerang Monkey only. So, what changed though, I guess, is the uh, question. Because there is actually, I, I've already tried to record this, right, basically. That's what happened. And I completely failed. Um, I actually tried multiple times. And it ended up being a 46 minute video of me just failing over and over again. It will be available in the description. Um, you can watch my failed attempt. It's unlisted. So you have to use the link to find it. Um, but yeah, it was pretty embarrassing. And I realised that actually to be able to do alternate balloon rounds. And I think this will probably come up on half cash as well, possibly. Is that basically any tower that doesn't have an upgrade that gives it camera detection. It's kind of impossible to do with just that but that's actually a lot of the primary guys um so i will be allowing myself to use a village upgraded one and two so this upgrade this upgrade and this upgrade that's it mainly for radar scan and to get as many monkeys in as i can nothing else and only one of them as well um but that way is the only way it's possible aside from that this is um the next uh, episode of Alternate Bloom Rounds Solo. This time it's the Boomerang Monkey uh, plus Azili, our hero. Um, we use as many Boomerang Monkeys as we want, and that's it. See if we can win Alternate Bloom Rounds. Um, so I'll start with my Boomerang Monkey here. Um, and I'll just actually, I won't put anything down or upgrade him. I'll just try and get Azili. Fantastic. And she, of course, has um, inherent camo detection and lead popping power, which is amazing. And now I will... I'll save up for a village as soon as I can, but I do need actual popping power. Like, just in general, you know. I can't forget about that. But it should be pretty smooth sailing. For now, I mean, oh well, I say that. Those guys are getting through. So, to help with just the normal balloons, obviously, I can't really do much about the camos at the moment. I can upgrade this guy. Got him red hot ranks. Hopefully, that'll be enough for now. Actually, I'll get another guy and put him on first. I'll do, I think. That'll work because it'll go around like that, and then also like that, the boomerangs will. So, that should work quite nicely. I hope I can get, can I get a guy in here? No, I sort of, that's not very efficient um, placement there, unfortunately. Now we'll see if I can save up for a village. Obviously it's going to go probably right here, I think. The right place to put it. So yeah, other towers that this might be necessary for. Um, Alchemist, immediately, I'm pretty sure. Can't get any camo detection. Uh, Mortar Monkey, not technically true, but that would be way too... I'm just going to give myself that one, because it will be too difficult otherwise. <laughs> um, Pack Shooter, Bomb Shooter, Blue Gunner, uh, Druid, I think. Um, Engineer is really difficult, actually, because of cleansing foam. Um, and I think if I'm going to give it to myself on Mortar, I'll also have to do Engineer as well. Oh, that is the village. I'm allowed to use it or not. I, which, speaking of the village, um, here we go. So now we're in a pretty good position, I think. Uh, well, actually, no, it's not like I've added to my popping power, um, which could probably actually be a little bit better. Um, so I'll get the same stuff on this guy for now. Although he will be going in a different direction to this one. Oh, this is no good, is it? Alright. Now I think I'm in a position where I probably can save up the radar scanner. Obviously, I'm not allowed to get jungle drums either, uh, which is very tempting, but of course, I can't do that. Oh, 
So I guess now that we're using boomerang monkeys, I should... Well, what are my opinions on them? I don't know. Boomerang monkeys are very odd. Um, I do like them. Looks like we're going to need actually a little bit more popping power here. So maybe that will suffice. Maybe. I like boomerang monkeys quite a bit. I think it's weird that they're not like that much better than a lot of other towers, yet they rely so heavily on specific placement. I don't know how to feel about them. I'm not sure they earn their place so much. Like, I'm not sure they earn how like well placed they have to be. At the same time, they are good, and I think that's an interesting aspect of them that you really do need to focus on placement, like where the boomerangs are going to go. Just a big part of these guys. And I do like that. I just don't know how earned it is. All right, now we've got a radar scanner, and I completely, I can completely focus on upgrading my boomerangs. Yeah, this this round was always a problem round with the boomerangs when I was trying to do it before, but now, not a problem at all. It looks like. Oh, one yellow. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So I definitely want Boomer and uh, Kylie's. Good. I'll probably get Boomerang, uh, Bionic Boomer first, just to get some solid popping power. And the Kylie's in the sky, because they can go very well down this path. Hit lots of mobs at the same time. Also get faster throwing on him too. And now I will get a ricochet. I think it's appropriate to get at least one of all three different paths. This position for a ricochet, probably somewhere, I'm thinking down here, possibly. Probably, possibly, I don't know. I don't know, but we'll see if it works out. Also, I do like, it's weird that how similarly priced these all are. I mean, these two are the same, and this is pretty close. And it's a bit different here. Yeah, it's weird. So now I want to think about what fourth tier is I'm going to want. Definitely Mara Press, and probably more Glaze too. I think Turbo Charge alone is probably one of the worst fourth tier. Although I do like Permanent Charge quite a bit at the fifth tier. I just don't think this fourth tier is particularly valuable. Although I might get multiple of these guys just to just some supplemental popping power. No. Right, Moab Press. That should we should be golden for the Moab. Next I'm gonna get more glaze just to help just to make a clean up um as good as it can be basically. No oh well, it's not as good as it can be, but with the amount of money we're raking in. On me. Oh, I did forget it would be a reinforced map actually. I'm not expecting this to be an issue. Hmm. I'm going to see if I can do that without losing so many lives. I mean, I don't think I will lose lives because of the shield, but I'd like to possibly do that better. Not sure how I would, though. And now, to my shame, I actually failed to go home in time to be able to do that again. Oh well. Got more glaze now, so it'll be in a better, better spot. But after that, and I did forget that there is a lot of um, reinforced Moabs in this, in alternate Bloons rounds. So I'm actually going to get another Moab press, I think. And this, I think, is a good spot. Put them on strong as well. Very direct, I think. So in terms of fifth tiers, um, the most affordable is Glaive Lord, so I'm probably going to want that. Although, realistically, the best spot for a Glaive Lord will be here or here. I might actually put one of our guys here. This guy might turn him into a um, Glaive fella.
yeah, so far nothing seems to be a problem. I mean, obviously that is because I do have the radar scanner here, but it, it really is necessary, I think, to make this possible. Um, if I'm just completely wrong and stupid, um, you can tell me, and if there's a better strategy that I'm just completely missing, maybe there's a hero that like make this very possible. Um, well, probably a hero I don't have. I think Geraldo, you could definitely do it with Geraldo, but I don't actually have Geraldo yet. Um, and I'm not too interested in Geraldo either, and I don't want it to be that simple. Oh, so I guess Gerald is not simple. I think you have to use these temporary camo enablers. And it just doesn't quite sit right with me, I don't think. But now I'm just sort of trying to evaluate if we're in a position to be able to save up the Glaive Lord. Um, and right now, yes, but obviously things will get harder. <clears throat> right, balloons themselves don't seem to be a problem. It, I am slightly concerned. If I don't get Glaive Lord before then, I'm a little bit concerned about BFBs and obviously reinforced BFBs. Um, but aside from that, I'm pretty com comfortable. Okay, so the single BFB wasn't a real issue. Um, I think multiple probably would be. Um, so let's just hope we can get the glow floor before then. Actually, you know, with the way that this is set out, this would probably still be a better spot for the glow floor because they can sort of sp like move around here and hit the balloons as they go like along this way. I think that might be a good idea. I think this guy should be the glow floor. Which also might be stupid, I don't know. I'm no expert, um, I'm hoping that this these videos will help bring me closer to being that sort of level. Um, yeah. Very satisfying sound of hitting ceramics with the boomerangs. Um, you know, if you're a sick man, that satisfying pose. You know what? I'm just going to take this out with Azili. Thank you, Azili. Yeah, I am an Azili fan. I'm not an Azili main. Um, if I had to pick a main, it would be Etienne, which I, I think might also be a little bit unpopular. Um, but still, I'm an Etienne main, I think. But Azili's great, I think. Especially in the late game. Um, when you have, when the totem doesn't, you know, make you lose lives or makes you only lose one, and when her, when you get the ability to just one shot those are my even bads eventually BADs, which is just ridiculous. But she's not great early game, I'll admit. The only thing that she, the only thing that makes her okay early game is the fact that she starts with camo and lead popping power, which is a good thing. But she's just not that powerful at, at the start. I'm hoping that this whole thing will also give me a good amount of XP on my way to... Oh, well, I'm actually a lot closer than I thought to getting Glaive Dominus. Yeah. Not, it's not actually the last Paragon I need. I still need to get the Ninja one as well. All right, there's our Glaive Lord. Um, yeah, maybe that wasn't the right spot. I don't know. Actually, that, that should definitely be able to hit Moab. And I think it will still hit Normal Blues as well. So, yeah, I think I got this right. So now what else do I want? I think, just to be safe, I might just get another Moab press. Like here. Push it back as much as possible. I'll make this one stronger, I guess. Um, I'll put this guy on last instead of strong, but leave this guy on strong. And now I'm thinking about trying to maybe save up for a perma charge, although it's only really worth doing if I can actually get it before round 80. Um, but obviously I will be saving up a lot of money, so if we run into any problem round, I'll just be able to, you know, retry from that round and just buy a bunch of crap to help me, I guess.
Right, there's our turbo charge. 37 grand in nine in eight rounds. Yeah, I'm not too confident this is gonna be possible. <laughs> uh, possible to get um turbo charge that is. I think this challenge would definitely be possible. A minor interruption there. Yeah, like I said, I don't think saving up for turbo charges. I don't think there's much point to it. At the same time, I think this lot can probably take on the this, oh my god. Or this OMG. I think I think I prefer this OMG. That's more literal. That's not really I don't like break it. Even though I think it is oh my god, I think that is what you meant to that's kind of what it's intended to be. Or it's oh no, it's Zeppelin of like massive grief or something, isn't it? Or the Zeppelin of Monkey Genocide. Oh, look at that. You know what I'll do, just as a bonus. Once I got to round 80, I'll start farming and see if I can actually get Glaive Dominus in this game. And see how long that can go on for. Once I've actually finished, once round 80 is done, obviously. So once I've actually finished the challenge. I'm not actually allowed to use farms in these. Oh yeah, I'm pretty pretty good at this point, especially because I got well, I got that, which will just win. I'm actually not gonna use that though. That's the thing. I think that's a little bit cheap. I'll use my turbo charge happily, but I want the I want the boomerang monkeys to beat this OMG. Not as easily. Oh right, <laughs> I forgot about it being alternate blooms rounds. So there'll be two OMG Sinks round or a fortified one. I'm not quite sure. Either way, I'm pretty confident. So bring it. Right. Well, unsurprisingly, it is possible um, if you use villages <laughs> to solo um, alternate blooms rounds with boomerang monkeys. Uh, plus a hero. Um, I yeah, I do think it will probably be possible without the villages if you use Geraldo. But like I said, I don't really have him, and that sounds quite annoying anyway. Um, but now we're free play, and I'm going to carry on. And actually, I will pause this now. And get back to you if I'm in a position to get a Glaive Dominus. And then we'll see how far I can go. Okay, small confession. Um, I actually lost before getting the Paragon. Um, <clears throat> most embarrassing. Either way, that does conclude this. Um, next week will be the, uh, of course, the Bomb Shooter. Uh, alternate Bloom Rounds only. Which I'm very excited about. Because I, I, I don't know, I just have a weird affinity uh, for this little fella. Uh, or big fella. And um, 
yeah, I mean, I, I thank you all for watching. Uh, this was this was great. I, I guess, <laughs> I guess. Um, pardon me. Yeah. Um, if you did like this, well, I'll, I'll say like and subscribe if you like this because that's what I'm meant to do. Um, but I will also remind you once again that if you're here because of balloons, it's not the main feature of our channel. I'm sure I'll keep this up. You know, every at least one balloons video a week because I I do enjoy them a lot. So I don't see any reason to not keep it up, but. I'm, we are not a Bloomed channel, and we're probably almost definitely not going to change to be a Bloomed channel. Um, but if you do enjoy these videos, um, I think it's worth sticking around because I am going to keep doing them. I'm just probably not going to do them more freq any more frequently than I currently am. Either way, though, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll see you all next time. Mwah.